from the great state of Indiana, member of the House Budget Committee, Mike Braun joins us now. Senator, I mean, this is this is really outrageous. We were told by Biden he wouldn't he wouldn't change the tax structure for anybody making under four hundred hundred thousand. This is going to affect people making far less than that. I mean, it's it's a it's a pure extra tax on the middle class, isn't it? Yeah, they said it wasn't going to hassle anybody at low income levels, that it was going to all come out of the hide of big companies. So the IRS agents, like they do every year, this is going to unleash on the lowest incomes, the people that are in the gig economy, that are running a sideline business, going to be hassled down to any $600 transaction. Now, they're supposed to be filing those, but do you think the main thrust of this big $80 billion investment with 87,000 agents is going to be turned on big companies no. or unleashed across the countryside on small income earners. Sad, David, it's another misguided attempt. They better backpedal. They better take that stuff out or is there going to be an uproar across the country? Well, how is an IRS rule change that's this significant uh, not affected by congressional oversight. Don't you don't you automatically have congressional oversight, or can they sneak these things in anytime they want? Sadly, this is part of these thousand-page bills. This one from the IRA, the Inflation Reduction Act, that none of us have enough time to look at it, to flesh them out, to get this kind of unintended consequence before it passes. Now you have to deal with it. And they will have to change this, not through oversight, but by changing the law. Hmm. That's what happens when you politically enterprise, like the other side of the aisle's been doing, and then call it something crazy like inflation reduction. Unbelievable. Act. Well, it's outrageous. I hope you can change it. I also hope you can stop them from spending more money with a lame duck Congress. They've already spent $5 trillion. Apparently, that isn't enough. I mean, there are all kinds of things they want to spend more on. In, in just the couple of weeks leading up to the Republican House. Is there anything you can do to stop that? There are at least six or seven of us that are not accepting business as usual. And the first thing is, do not let Pelosi and Schumer do exactly what you've said, especially when the House changed political hands effective early January. you got many even here on our side wanting to give the keys back to Pelosi and let Schumer flesh out the spending for the next year. Wait, let Kevin Mar McCarthy get a hold of it so we at least can have some input. That's crazy politics if we go for that. Senator, you're from a farm state. You used to do business with farmers. You used to sell machinery to them. Uh, they have it real tough. The price of diesel is way up. The price of fertilizer is, is outrageous right now. Uh, you want to, in addition to all the other stuff, now they have to worry about new regulations from the SEC about greenhouse gases. You want to make it a little easier for them. Explain how. Yeah, I want to make sure that they don't have to report uh, how their impact on the farm is impacting greenhouse gases. That's the ripple effect when you have this top-down approach to governing. The farmers got enough to worry about how to carve out a small profit with inputs going up, all the things they've been dealing with with fertilizers, high costs in general. Now imagine having to come up with the accounting of how you might be affecting greenhouse gases. They yeah. have no idea what to do, number one. That's sad. Regardless of what you think about climate, don't burden farmers with that. You know, we only have 10 seconds, but we, we heard a lot from Biden about how he was pro-union. He was for the middle class. Everything we've been talking about, he was for the farmers, has been against what he claimed. You think voters are going to wise up? They better, because the Democrats are now best buddies with the biggest, wokest corporations, and they've lost that feel with Main Street America. That's where I come from. Senator Mike Braun, who, by the way, is registered to be uh, to run for governor in 2024. Now, you want to be governor of this state. Good luck to you, Senator. Appreciate Thank it. You. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for being here.